Right, folks, while well, Bro has excelled himself today, I'm in the middle of the road even waiting for him, and he is actually seven, that's seven minutes late today, honestly. Right, good afternoon, folks. You find us here at Barry Hill, where today we are delving into Arthurian legends once again. We are going to try and find a place where uh, Lady Guinevere was imprisoned by King Arthur after she had an affair. Are you listening, bro? Unless had a, King Arthur had an affair. No, King Arthur didn't have an affair. <laughs> Queen Guinevere <laughs> had an affair no? with Mordred, and uh, he imprisoned her here on top of Barry Hill, where she was torn apart by ferocious mm. beasts, which might still be there. So oh. King Arthur's wife was morbid, and he had an affair. Right, bro, just this, no. okay. <laughs> I've decided to take this... Um, Bro's, oops, today Bro's found a path of sorts. Right, Bro, lead on. So far, there's a little quarry, and Bro it's out of breath. It's very rugged here, isn't it? It's all yes. very bumpy. Like natural steps, though. It certainly is, Bro. It's a rather unusual terrain that we're on here, folks, I must say. Um, but we're heading upwards. I think it's one of these hills that's quite deceptive. You yes. think you're there. Hill, another hill, and another hill. Oh Lord, but it's a nice view already, look. I think it's that one. Are we on the wrong hill? No, that's the hill of loyalty or something over there. <laughs> oh no, folks, I was right. <laughs> oh, Lord above. Oh. Thought we were at the top, but no, look. Top's the way up there. All right, let's just take it easy. Whoa. Wow, folks, we've just seen a massive fox. Right, we just saw a huge fox. Oh, was it a black cat? There was a, definitely it was a beast, a beast of some sort, beast up here. Man. So we're sort of heading up this way now, folks. Oh, no, I think we should head up that way, bro. Yeah, yeah. The beast is up there somewhere. Well, hopefully this could be the final surge, folks. No, this will be the second part. No, no, look, I think this is the summit coming up here, bro. Oh. I think this is it, bro. Some stones. Looks like some sort of ramparts here. Look. look. Yep. Ramparts. And then that'll be the fort in there. Look. Oh, crikey. <coughs> We've made it, folks. This is the Pictish Enfortment. I can't even speak. Hang on a minute. Well, as you can see, it's that's the ramparts. There's all these stone sort of circles all the way around. Bro's way to explore one right now. Oh, here we are, look at this. Wow, excellent. Bro's actually in one of these, I think they call these things brocks or something. It's, it's, a kind of, it's like a suterin, but it's not a suterin. Yeah, well this is obviously the entranceway here, mm -hmm. and then we have some, unless they were just used as, I don't know, storage facilities maybe, but this is a Here's another one that's been knocked over. Another one over there. There's loads of them. Wow. Right, folks, what we're on now is the rampart here. Now, I'm not sure if this would have been a wooden fortification. There would have been sort of wooden palisades all the way along here protecting this uh, from the weather and from, well, from the invaders. And as you can see, it's a perfect location. You can see all over this area. Kinperny Tower. There's a way behind me there now. You can see for miles here, so you'll be able to see any attacker, any stranger coming for miles, man. And remember in them days, you wouldn't have had all the roads. The trees probably wouldn't have been there either. So absolutely wonderful. See, that's what I like about this sort of stuff. We are now walking in the footsteps of our ancestors. This is the kind of place they would have stayed on. The food they would have eaten is right, but at least my, I can't even speak right beneath my feet. We've got fungi, leaves. We saw that fox that would have been hunting all these kind of things. And of course, up here, folks, is where Queen Guinevere seemingly was imprisoned by uh, King Arthur. He left her up here to be the, the fodder of wild beasts. And we have indeed seen a wild fox up here. It's massive. So you can certainly get the feeling that there was some sort of truth to the legend because 
you just get a sense of it here. It's, it's weird. You can just imagine the poor lady being up here and uh, on her own, defenceless. The beast, oh crikey, hell's teeth, man, I stood in a hole. <laughs> defenceless and the wild beasts encircling her. They're hungry. She's defenceless. They'll be right in there for the kill and they would just rip her to shreds. There's another one of those things behind me here. Fantastic place. What's bro doing? Review. Well, folks, unfortunately, we've come up to this fantastic view, and what have we forgot? What have we Honestly, forgot? we're so unprepared. No space cards, no binoculars. I mean, it'd be ideal to have a good look around here. There's stuff over there in the woods we can see. We're just so unprepared, folks. We got so excited coming here, we just went, yeah, up the hill, whoa! I don't think we expected such a good view, though. I oh, know. No, I didn't, actually, bro. You're right enough. It's um, As I said, it's a perfect place uh, to defend. You can see for miles, can't you, bro? I mean, you would see anybody coming, any warlike tribe coming over the hills there you would see them. And any wild animals, you could spot them, you could go hunting from here. Um, excellent. Yep. Hang on. A quick snapshot. Right, folks, we've actually seen this strange area down here, so we're going to go and investigate that. I'm not actually sure what it is. Hmm, interesting. Strange noises coming from the woods over there. Hmm. Well, the landscape here is really uh, overgrown with tall grasses. Very treacherous indeed. There's holes everywhere, man. I've already fallen down a couple, so is bro, I think. Can we get our legs tangled up in these really high grasses? But there's lots of fungi, lots of fungi here. And just these strange little outcrops of stones appear every now and again. Excellent. That is down there, folks, we've discovered that's water. So it's actually an old well. That must be their water supply. They would have drunk from that and bathed. Well, I don't know if there's a bathe there, but they would have brought the water out there. Taken it up to the... That we have roughly got there is like an old well up there as well. Well as well. A well as well. Right, we are now actually descending from the Pictish Hill Fort. Once again, it's going to be a bit treacherous coming down here, but... Uh, there we go. So, we give us a mark on the spizometer, bro. Hang on. Yeah, we'll have to get that. Well, folks, mark on the spizometer. Now, we've seen a place like this before, but it wasn't as good as what we've just seen up there. Had a great sense of history walking around there, walking in the steps of our ancestors. We saw a couple of wild beasts. So, the, the um, legend of King Arthur could have actually been true. So, for that alone, folks, and the uniqueness of it, I've had a great time up here. A bit of a peck getting up here, a little bit of research, and a great area, fantastic views. For, so for that, folks, today, this is going to get a six and a half. Oh, I was going for seven, but that's close six enough. Six and a half yeah. out of ten today, folks, on the spazometer. A wonderful place. If you can come up here, folks, make sure you park down there, come up here. Wonderful views, definitely worth a visit if you're into that sort of thing. Six and a half here at Spiz today, thank you. Folks, well, there we go. That is the old well. I just threw a bit of wood into there and it made a massive sploosh. So that'll be their water supply. Indeed. So it's right at the bottom of where we were. We were up there. And there we go. Excellent. Right, folks, we're coming down to cars. Just parked over there. Just there. That's the car park. So, excellent fun. And now we've arrived safely back, folks. There we go. There you go, folks. Look, Spiz mugs. We are using our Spiz. Thank you, Clover Thistles. Thank you, Clover Thistles. As I said, it's a, the perfect place for a defenseless. A defense. Oh, look, hang on, I'll start again. <laughs>